All right, my friends, so now I'm going to prepare everything for you in order to start learning Python. So we're going to go and download and install the basic stuff. We're going to run our first Python code. And at the end, there will be a bonus section where I'm going to show you add-ons and stuff that I usually use in my projects. And as well, a Notion roadmap for Python to track and plan your learning process. So my friends, let's jump in. Okay, now the first thing that we need to do is to go and download Python. So open your browser and go to python.org and then we're going to go to the download section and here you're going to see one big yellow button that says download Python. And then we have like a version for me now, it's like 3.13. You might see here like higher version that I'm showing now and that's totally fine. So let's go and click on that and then you will get like the installation. So let's go and click on it. And now very important before we start installing now, we're going to go and check this one. So we're going to say add python.exe to path. It's just going to make your life easier, trust me. So now let's go to install now and click on that. So with that, we got Python on our PC. So now what we installed now is the full Python engine. So we have like the interpreter, the standard libraries, the built-in stuff, all those basics that you need in order to run Python code at your PC. Okay, so now we have to check whether everything is installed correctly. So now go and search in your system for terminal and let's run that. Now here in the terminal, type python and dash dash version. Let's go. And our system returns python with the version. So if you get it like me, that means my friends, we have now installed python at our PC. And now the next question is, where are we going to write our Python code? And here we have two options. Either we're going to use a code editor or we're going to use an IDE. So a code editor, it is like smart notepad for developers. So you're going to have like some nice stuff like syntax highlighter, autocomplete, file navigations, many extensions and add-ons. And we have very famous editors like the Visual Studio Code and Atom. And from the other side, we have the IDE, Integrated Development Environment. This one is like heavier, more advanced than and the code editor, you will get a debugger, compiler, version control, and many more heavy stuff inside it. And a very famous one is like the PyCharm and the Visual Studio. Be careful, it's not the Visual Studio code. And now, of course, the question is which one we're gonna use? Well, we're gonna go with the code editor, Visual Studio code. It is just free, lightweight, that has more that we need in order to learn or work with Python. And I can tell you, my friend, this editor is not only like for beginners, for someone to learn a programming language. This one is as well for professionals. You're going to be using it in your projects. I use this editor as well for my real projects. So now enough said, let's go and get it. Okay, so now let's go and download Visual Studio Code. So we're going to go to code.visualstudio.com. And once you are there, you can go and click download for Windows. And if you are using Mac, you can go to the docs over here and then to the setup on the left side. And here you can see for Linux, for Mac, for Windows. And if you go to the Mac, you can see as well here the downloads. So now go download and install Visual Studio Code at your PC. After installing the Visual Studio, we're going to go and open it. And now I totally understand if this is like a little bit overwhelming have a lot of icons, menus and stuff. But don't worry about it. I'm going to guide you like step by step. So now we have here like the basic Visual Studio, but we want to go and upgrade stuff. We want to go and add like upgrades and power to our editor. And we can do that by adding extensions to the Visual Studio. Now, if you go to the left side, you can see here we have a lot of icons, one of them called extensions. So go and click on that. So now what we can do, we can go and search for add-ons and extensions to our Visual Studio. So what you have to do is to go and search for Python. And now the one that we need is Python by Microsoft. So click on that. So this is an official Python extension by Microsoft. So let's go and download it. We're going to go over here and click on install. And with that, the extension is installed. This is really nice one in order to get smart suggestions, to highlight errors, to run things easier and so on. And with that, we got our first extension in Visual Studio Code. And now in the next step, I want you to go to the file over here in the menu and then let's open a folder. And what you're going to do now is to create a folder where we're going to put all our Python codes. So make sure to put it somewhere safe. So we're going to go and and create a new folder. Let's call it, for example, python underscore learning and select the folder. So now the window switched to the explorer, the first icon over here. And now we can see in this panel our folder the python underscore learning and here we can see all the folders and files that we are creating in the projects great now we have the folder and now inside it we're going to create our 
first Python file. So in order to do that, we're going to go to this small icon over here and click on that. It's going to create a new file, call it whatever you want. So let's call it hello. And now we have to tell our system, this is not a normal file. This is a Python file. And for that, we have to use the correct extension py. Stands for Python. So hit enter. And now our system understand, aha, this is a Python file. And as you can see, we have here like nice small icon of Python. Now in the middle here, you can see already our file is opened and the editor is waiting for you to write something. And now we are ready to write our first Python code. And now don't worry about the syntax, what we're going to write here, because I will be explaining for you everything step by step. Don't worry about it. So just follow me now. We're going to write print. This is a function that's going to print something in the output. And after that, we're going to go and open parentheses. Here, as you can see, as you opened parentheses, the editor closed it immediately because you need it at your code. So we have opened and closed parentheses. And now we go inside them and we type double quotes. So as you can see, we have now two double quotes because this is the syntax in Python. So as you can see, the editor here is helping us and adding stuff. So now in between of all those stuff, we're going to write something. Like for example, we can say, hi, this is my first Python code. Something like this. So now we have our first code in Python. And the next step is to go and execute it. So we're going to go to this play icon over here and click on it. And now my friends, if you see in the terminal this message like this, I can say congrats, you have written your first Python code. So now in the terminal, you can see the output of your code. So the first few stuff is just like where your file is located. But what is very important is this message over here. This is the output of your code. We say it in our code, print this message. And we got the message in the output. So with that, we have told our PC to do something. We have written here like an instruction. And our PC did understand what we want and executed the task. And this is exactly what is programming. All right, so now what is next? We're going to talk about shortcuts. Now what you have done in order to run this code, we went to this icon over here and clicked on it. And now my friends, we want to be professional, right? We don't want each time to go and click on the icon in order to execute our code. We're going to go and use shortcuts. So now we're going to go to the command section for Windows, hit Shift, Control and P. And if you are using Mac, Shift, Command and P. And now we're going to go and search for the following preferences. And then double points, we need the open keyboard shortcuts, the one over here. So we can see now all the commands in the Visual Studio and the key binding, the shortcuts. And now what do we want? We want to make a shortcut for running Python. So we're going to go and search for run Python file. So now we can see this command run Python file. And as a default, Visual Studio will not add any shortcuts for it, but we can add it manually. So double click on the key binding and now choose the shortcut that you want. I usually use the control R. So that's it. Hit enter. So now you can see our nice shortcut and the source you see here, it's user. Perfect. Now let's go back to our code. You can see here in the tab, hello.python. And now we don't want to hit the play button. What we're going to do, we will just going to use the shortcut. So control R and perfect. With that, we have quickly executed our code like an expert. All right, my friends. So with that, we have prepared your PC with everything that we need in order to run and learn Python. Now we're going to move to the bonus section to the the luxury where we're gonna add some decorations to our visual studio it is not a must it is nice to have and this is the style that i like so let's go Okay, so now in order to add more decorations to our Visual Studio, we're going to go to the extensions. And the first thing that we can add is a theme for our Visual Studio. There are a lot of amazing themes for the coloring and stuff. So I'm going to show you my top four themes and the one that I usually follow. So one of the very famous one is called One Dark Pro. This one over here. This is very famous theme. And you can go and install it and check whether you like it or not. And if you scroll down, you can see more screenshots and informations about this theme. And you have to be careful on the marketplace. Some stuff are like free to use and others you have to pay like license but for this one currently it is free another one that is very popular is the io so this one over here click on it and this one as well very famous between developers you can see there is like light mode dark mode and like different coloring it's really here there is like no right or wrong and this is as well for now it's free and a third one that is very famous monokai pro this one sadly you have to pay for it but this is as well really awesome like each time i try it it feels really professional but now we go to my favorite one it's gonna be dracula So Dracula and this one over here. So click on that. You can try it. And if you like it, you can use it like me. So we're going to go and install it. Trust and install. 
and now you can see immediately all the coloring of the visual studio did change so now if you go back to our code you can see the coloring did change the print now is green it is just clean beautiful i just like it so try it out it is free through the course i will be using the theme but again it is not a must okay so now moving on there is like one more thing that i like to add is different type of icons you can see we have this small snake here for the python but if you want to go and add some more fancy stuff you can search for material icon theme the first one over here so click on that and if you scroll down you can see we will get like more colorful icons and stuff again this is only luxury so i'm gonna go and install it trust and install so now if you go to the explorer over here you can see we have now nice colorful icon it is just small stuff okay so now let's go to a next one this one gonna be more serious not only colors and stuff so now go and search for auto hip eight so the first one here as well from microsoft so now this extension gonna go and automatically format your code following the standard format and the styling guide of pip8 now what is exactly pip8 it is a standard on how to format and style your python code using like a set of rules that you can follow in order to have clean readable and professional looking python code so we can see here in the pip8 styling guide there are like a lot of rules that the developers should follow right and what this extension does is to go and format automatically your code using this standard style so it is really nice go and install it and after that we can go back to our code over here so now let's add some few bad styles to our code so maybe few spaces before the parentheses and after it and as well here so this really doesn't look good so now in order to format this we're gonna go to the command section so shift Control p so now we're gonna search for format documents this one over here so click on it and perfect you can see it removed all those unneeded spaces and with that we have automatically formatted our codes using standards and of course you can go and create like shortcut in order to quickly format your code so my friends those are the add-ons that we can add to our visual studio and of course if you installed something and you don't like it anymore you can go back to your extensions you can see we have here the installed section and you can go and uninstall your extension so my friend that's all for now we have prepared your setup in order to start learning python And now my friends to the last bonus i have prepared here the full python roadmap using notion templates you can go to the link in the description and you can download it so this is really nice in order to track your progress so for example you can see here the main phases of learning python you have beginner intermediate and advanced and as well nice status how much you have already covered and then below that we have the course index here we have everything so we have the phases the chapters and as well the lessons now we are currently at the introduction so it is in progress we already covered what is python so it's done and as well we set up our environment so we can go over here and say this is as well done now we can go to the next step and say this is in progress and this is the first topic that we're going to cover in python the comments and as well you can go and add a plan when you will learn the next steps so it's a really nice way in order to organize your learning process and now you can see here we have like many stuff like the boards so you can see immediately the chapters that are to be done how much in progress and how much you have covered it's called like a combo board and once you have planned everything you can check the timeline the calendar and as well here we have a nice chart and how many topics that we have already covered so it is a really great way in order to feel like there is an achievement there is like a progress so if you'd like to plan and track your progress learning python you can go and use my notion template all right my friend one more last thing if you really enjoyed this type of tutorials where it's free and as well i sketch those complex concepts and you want more content like this then support the channel by subscribing liking commenting this can really help with the algorithm and gonna support the channel by reaching others like you and as well it can help me to make more content like this and of course thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video